morning, Hexcraft Friday Eagles. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. It is day four of our specials rotation. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance as Miss Howard's class introduces themselves and leads us in the pledge. Mia, Malika, Justin, Jessica, 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 Jessica. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, Dr. one Dana, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. All right, we're back. And it is another great day of teaching and learning here at Hector Kaffer Elementary School. It is a Wednesday, so we have three days left, three opportunities to make ourselves better, three opportunities to improve. We've been talking about our New Year's resolutions and how we are working to be a little bit better every day. And you can do that by being respectful, responsible, and always ready to learn. So make sure you are following those three expectations. We do have a birthday in the house today. Happy birthday to Dylan Rivera Dominguez. He is in grade one. We hope that Dylan, you have a fantastic day. And crew, what's for lunch? Today for lunch, we will have a whole apple, green beans, macaroni and cheese, or a veggie salad and tray. All right, so mac and cheese or a nice veg veggie salad entree. That sounds delicious and nutritious. So thank you to our kitchen crew with Miss Heather and her gang, and they're cooking up all those delightful treats for us. Um, just a reminder, everybody, um, that we do still have a high rate of transmission of COVID in our area, so please wear your mask, wear them up over your face. That will just keep all of us safe, and the more that we do that, the less, people, the less people are likely to get sick. So thank you for cooperating and ensuring that we are all doing our part. All right, Mr. Ken, can you please take me to the science lab? All right, here we are in the science lab. And if you know the answer to this question, please call extension 208. A third grade class is on a field trip to the aquarium. They are viewing different fish through a large glass tank. What property describes the aquarium glass? Is it opaque, reflective, translucent, or transparent? If you know the answer, please dial extension 208. Good morning, you're on the air, who's this? Hi, it's Miss Richard's class. Hi, Miss Richard, what do you guys think the answer is? class thinks it's transparent. It is transparent. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have won. Transparent means that materials allow all light to pass through them, like glass, water, air. Opaque means that light cannot be seen through the object. And a reflective, obviously we know a reflective surface, light bounces off of it. And translucent means that some light passes through, but not all light. So a good example of that might be wax paper or frosted glass. So transparent allows all the light to pass through it. All right, that's it for today. Congratulations to Miss Richard's class. Uh, thank you for being responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And don't forget that what, everybody? Smiles are free. Smiles are free. So share one with a friend.